हेलो गाइस जोश मोस्ट वेलकम ऑन मित्तल्स एजुकेशन पॉइंट यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ अभी मित्तल आम अथर प्रोफेम बी बी स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम पीजीएमएस रोहतक लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट रूट ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पेरेंट्रल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव आईएम आईएम इंजेक्शन कैन बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन डेल्टोइड मसल वास्टस लिटरलिस मसल ग्लूटियल मसल डोरसो ग्लूटियल मसल ऑफ बटक्स रेयरली द इट कैन लीड टू एब्सेस कैन फॉर्म एट द साइट ऑफ इंजेक्शन At 90 degree, we have to inject the drug. Can administration large volume than subcutaneous, but less volume than intravenous? Example: Vitamin K, haloperidol, diclofenac. They are to be given in low volume. Okay. Then subcutaneous infection injection. They are given at 45 degree to 90 degree. Example: Insulin and oxaprine. Volume limitation is all always there. Abdomen, we we can give it an abdomen. Avoid preumbilical area about two inch. Like this is your stomach. This is umbilicus. So we have to protect this area. We do not give injection at this side about two inch of umbilicus. Lateral thigh, lateral hip, dorsal lateral arm we can use in. IV injection the angle is 50 to 30 degree amikacin dexamethasone can be given forearm wrist elbow back of hand foot vein in neck any any vein you can access just go and draw air embolism can be there the chances of air embolism very high then intradermal intradermal are in the surface of forearm upper back like this upper back pe laga sakte ho foot scapula these are main used for allergy test vaccination bcg vaccination rabies etc it can lead to pain itching and the angle is 5 to 15 degree only so let's conclude by this this first of all we have intradermal intradermal is like will very low 5 to 15 then we have intravenous 15 to 30 subcutaneous around 45 degree and intramuscular around 90 degree okay This is the technique to hold the syringe. Intramuscular 90 degree, subcutaneous 45 degree, intravenous 30, around 30 degree, and intradermal around 5 to 15 degree only. That's all for the video. Thank you, guys.